Hi, I'm Joe Ranieri, Midwest Regional Manager with Sarumi Pump. Thank you for joining us here at our WebTech virtual booth. We've got a lot to go over today with our submersible pump line. We're very excited to be here. And we're going to start off with our brand new Sarumi Avant series. This is explosion proof i3 premium efficiency motors. I'm going to talk about some internal features, different impeller types, and some of the customizations that we have here with the Avant series. Starting with the cable. We've got a liquid resin barrier that's going to prevent any water from wicking into the motor. Water wicks into the motor when the cable is cut somewhere down the line. It wants to enter the cable and wick towards your heat source. So that liquid resin barrier is going to prevent that from happening. We've got a watertight seal and the option to thread a pipe onto the top of the cable so that the exterior is protected so that it can't get cut or potentially exposed to any chemicals or corrosive liquids, high temperature, things that can damage this cable. So that is an option. We're going to move down to the mechanical seal next. We've got dual faced silicon carbide mechanical seals, both in an oil chamber. The oil chamber is key to the longevity of these mechanical seals. If that lower seal was exposed to whatever the pump media is, any solids, abrasives, high temperature liquids could damage that lower seal and cause seal failures. We've got a moisture sensor that is standard on the Avant line. So it will send a note back to the user, letting them know that there might be water or some sort of moisture in the oil chamber. So they know ahead of time to change those seals before any major failures happen. The bearings on this baby are in size to endure over 100,000 hours of operation. It can be kitted with a high temperature sensor or a vibration sensor to sense any impeller imbalance. In regards to the customization, the hydraulic options are a open channel, a chopper, a vortex style, a grinder, and a high pressure impeller. What I have here is the open channel. This is kitted with an anti-clogging system here in the volute to ensure solids passage and prevent any blockage. The chopper will cut materials while the vortex style will, ensure, will have optimal solids passage. The grinder really macerates those materials and a high pressure style is for high, flow, excuse me, high head low flow applications. The handle at the top is great for installation. It's stainless steel and it's going to ensure that the pump is properly balanced when lowered down onto a guide rail system fitting onto the coupling device. For a dry pit installation, we can do vertical or horizontal installation and it will be kitted with the cooling jacket that you see here. Our cooling jacket is a patented system with a closed loop um, glycol system that's separated from the pump media and a very special design that is different than any other option out there. We've got a lot of videos out there about Avant on our social media, so check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and look at our other videos here posted on the WebTech virtual, uh, virtual trade show talking about the Avant series. Jeff's gonna go ahead and jump in and talk about the Surumi product that you're familiar with, the Bank series and the hard cast iron pumps. Jeff, thank take you. it away. I'm Jeff Davis. I'm the Western Regional Manager for Surumi Pump here in the U.S. We're gonna talk a little bit about the rest of the products in the wastewater line from Surumi. These are the Vanks pumps. This Vanks line has a molded resin top coupled with either 304 stainless steel or titanium. We're talking a very highly corrosion resistant pump line that can pass some solids, be used either freestanding like you see it now or on a guide rail system. This is a fantastic all corrosion resistant lift station type pump. These pumps are available in single phase, one fifth horsepower to one horsepower and three phase, one third horse up to five horse. They can operate all the way up to 240 gallons per minute and over 100 feet of head, depending on the pump. They're a nice solid passage pump and very good for bilge, chemical spills, and any other kind of thing that you need corrosion resistance for. This little UT guy right here, this is just another little small sump pump that Surumi offers. It's all cast iron, two inch only, single phase only, half horse and one horse. The UT can also be sold as a UTZ which adds a single float on the outside to, op to operate in an in a, in a auto uh, mode in a home or a small business. The larger cast iron pumps over here, these are the ones that we've had uh, in our line for a while. And the C-Series pump is basically one of the more popular pumps that we sell out there because this is known as our cutter. And the cutting action of this pump is very good in any kind of a lift station that rags or clogs uh, constantly. Uh, this open channel impeller has a tungsten carbide tip that's brazed into the, into the uh, leading edge of the impeller and it runs on a serrated wear plate that acts as the cutter. So anything that gets pulled into this pump gets chopped up into smaller pieces so it'll pass. We're talking about blue jeans, t-shirts, baseball caps, tennis shoes. This thing will pass anything that comes into it and cut it up into small pieces. 
All of these pumps, again, are inverter duty ready. You can run them on VFDs. They're available in single phase and three phase. Uh, the cutter pump actually has a high head range version, uh, goes all the way up to 30 horsepower, eight inch discharge. We're talking over 200 feet of head uh, and some very nice flows with that cutter pump. Um, let's go over here to the B series pump, another open channel pump. Uh, this has a bigger, uh, all the way up to eight inch, 20 horsepower, a little bit wider range of pumps here. Uh, small single phase one horse, but again, all the way up to 20 horsepower, either freestanding or on a guide rail system. Inverter duty ready as well. Um, the BZ pump, another channel impeller, but this one has a special enclosed impeller. It's a very efficient way to pass a big solid. This thing passes actually 3.94 inch solids, a very nice solid handling pump. Again, it is inverter duty ready, guide rail or freestanding. You can use this pump in a lot of different applications, but it passes very big solids. We also have Vortex impellers. Let's start with the U-series or the semi-Vortex impeller. We're talking about a recessed impeller where the media that's being pumped doesn't get a chance to move through the impeller and wrap up, so we're gonna pass some nice solids here. This line here, the U-series, up to five horsepower only, two and three inch discharge. It's a very nice pump for uh, another sump that might rag up or that might clog, only semi-vortex, smaller than the UZ, which is the full vortex. This goes up to 15 horsepower, all four inch discharge, passes a very nice solid. So we're talking about, again, the, the, the recessed vortex impeller for not clogging. We see this in a lot of different applications, whether it's agriculture application, any kind of food processing application or sewage and wastewater. Again, all of these pumps are available three phase 208, 230, 460, 575 volt inverter duty ready wastewater pumps. And once again, uh, all of this line here comes with silicon carbide on silicon carbide, double mechanical seals. They all have the anti-wicking cable entry and the oil lifter. So Joe's gonna take you through a few more pumps that we have in, in additional lines for saloon. Thanks a lot, Chuck. So what I have here is the portable single phase line. These are some of the staples of the Surumi name, just like the C-Series cutter that Jeff talked about today. Over here is the HS submersible trash pumps. I have a two inch and I have a three inch. The two inch is kitted with an electrode automatic option that I'll talk about in a second. But what makes the HS so special is the agitator that stirs up the sand and grit and things like that that you might run into and allows the pump to pump that material without clogging up. The single phase pumps will all have a urethane rubber impeller for abrasive resistance. With this electrode pack that comes on the HS and the LB series, the water will, the electrodes will sense the water when it touches and kick the pump on. And when that water falls below that level, a 60 second timer will go off and shut the pump off. So you don't have to worry about any run dry situations. Again, we have a two inch and a three inch. This is half horsepower and one horsepower. I'm gonna move on to the LB series. Again, these can be kitted with the automatic electrode as well. This is a one horsepower, two inch pump with a top flow design. So if it is ever in a run dry application, the air will actually continue to cool the motor even if the water is not there to cool it. These LBs are available up to two horsepower with our LB1500. The orange pumps in the front, we have our LSR and LSC. The LSR is what I have on the table. This pumps down to 0.4 inches and the LSC will pump down to 0.04 inches. So these are low water level pumps. And as Jeff talked about, all of these pumps that he spoke on and they're pictured here have our patented oil lifter and the oil lifter is fitted around the mechanical seal to ensure that both seals are constantly lubricated even in low oil level environments now we've gone over a lot today and we really appreciate you joining us through this virtual tour make sure to check out our other videos and check out our social media pages like i said we got a lot on the avant series and we've got a lot to cover on some of our other pieces of if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Give us a call, check us out on the comment box. We'll be here to answer any questions that you need. Thanks so much for joining us. Enjoy WebTech.